Welcome to Calibrating Rapid Project Flow. I'm your instructor, Michelle Carmichael. I am delighted to have you as a student. Now in this accelerated course, you will achieve the directional knowledge and skills in conducting harmony between the learning mechanics of agile project processes and the performance mechanics behind how your brain calibrates its metacognitive action learning during your performance. Now this course is structured in a four unit series inspired by the ADDIE model of instruction for digital learning. ADDIE is a sequential waterfall process and will be used as the instructional rhythm for how to perform this course. So if you've not used ADDIE model before, each unit of this course has an outcome that then feeds into the next phase of your project process. Now for the purposes of this course, analysis and design is unit one, development is unit two, implementation is unit three, and evaluation is unit four. The learning resources provide a deeper understanding for Addy's mechanics as you dive into your project's rapid process development for this course. And your final deliverable for this course is your finalized project format that you rapidly performed in this course to include in your project charter and to showcase. The situational factors of this course is the diversity of our student audience provides a celebration of learning from a wide range of project deliverables with considerations for various types of projects representing a wide range of professional adult learners. So do not share any trade secrets. The choice to share any images or specific information of your projects is respectfully up to you. Now this course is inspired by McCluskey's classic theory of margin, adult learning theory, that's rich in evidence-based practices that reflects your learning performance in relation to your life. Understanding the brain mechanics of rapid project processes are influenced by our realities of life in relation to the theory of margin that's present throughout this course. So you will find your balance. Course timing. Now this course is open for a period of about 16 days. The course will open the week of April 3rd, 2023, and will close out on April 21st, 2023 by 11.59 p.m. Now this course is highly dependent upon self-regulated and self-directed learning, meaning I am here for your guidance, but your design principles for your project are solely up to you to create and finalize. I designed this course for diverse learning styles. The course rhythm and progress is student-centered by individualized learning and intrinsic motivation performance. So this means that your final deliverable is a representation of your learning process and your rapid development of your hands-on construction of your project for this course. And your final deliverable is a celebration of your cognitive behavioral change that your brain experienced when you learn rapid processes. And you will also receive a certificate of completion to include in your project charter and to showcase. Now this course is designed for adult learners to implement and perform a rapid project process in a short amount of time. The learning outcomes for the course are portable. You will exit this course with a new set of skills and hardware for your toolbox of project management. Each unit has its own personality as you perform focused, constructive work on your projects, exploring the resources with an open mind into the complex art and science of rapid project development. As you investigate and identify your performance flow states, the tactic and strategies presented in each unit are reflected by your learning mechanics. And at the end of each unit is an activity. Please submit a progress report on your project and a comprehensive applications that you are performing throughout this course. All right, let's get started. So unit one is direction mechanics, knowledge to practice. Here is where we start with the project idea that transforms into an action of construction, and then that produces a deliverable. So your design thinking of your project's idea is transformed into the planning that must be organized and methodological. The mechanics of planning your project requires you to put some time and focus into your project outcomes by developing a growth mindset. And your mindset is a vital component of your project's planning. 
Now, the knowledge of your project's end product is based on your idea and vision. How to streamline your process requires you to understand the brain mechanics of rapid processing. Your action learning stimulates your constructive behavioral brain mechanics, and this allows you to visualize your rapid project process. The planning that occurs in Unit 1 sets the foundations for how smoothly your project can and will develop. Please complete a strategy exercise called Destination Postcard to create the blueprint of your project's rapid process and build a solid foundation of your project before moving on to Unit 2. Unit 2, Flow Execution, Theory to Practice, Interchanging Our Flow States with Our Execution Mechanics. Now in Unit 2, you will dive into your actions of performance mechanics by exploring your states of creative flow while producing your project. You will understand how your brain shifts its gears when constructing a streamlined process in your project's executional phase. Your project is your process, so your connection to your flow mechanics of your execution performance is determined by your states of creative flow. And how you assemble your project is personal. You know your project the best. It, this is the heavy lifting of the course. So formatting your project's rapid process for execution requires your brain to figure out its flow production when learning how to perform cyclic processes until you decide on its final execution process. So please complete an activity on Jamboard called Decision-Making Sequence. This activity will stimulate your deductive reasoning skills by stating your lowest and highest challenge phases of your project process and identifying your concern phases with time management. Unit 3, Quality Control and Accountability Assessments. Now in Unit 3, you will explore the responsible practices of accountability and how to objectively evaluate your finished product by performing a quality control assessment. Now as we drive our project's rapid process towards completion, our brains shift gears once again to embrace the critical decision-making behavior we are about to perform. Now your quality control hat is on, and that provides you with the opportunity to look at the project from an external perspective as the observer and the inspector, not the creator. Now this change in behavior allows for constructive feedback, which transforms your project's improvement over for your finalization. Now, exploring the resources on cognitive bias and critical reflecting by take a step outside of self and you objectively look at your performance and your design thinking. Acknowledging any cognitive biases allows you to grow in accountability when performing a quality control assessment on your own work. Now, please complete an activity named assessment bias on quality control in Google Slides to critically reflect on performing a rapid QC assessment on your project. Unit four, audits and transformative change, impactful learning and your final deliverable. Now in unit four, you will perform an internal audit on your finalized project systems and then celebrate your impactful learning from this course by submitting your final deliverable. Now using the resources to determine which type of audit your project requires, in order to perform an in-depth audit in a short amount of time, your mindset needs to be precisely tuned into your project's frequency. With your auditor hat on, you need to be able to objectively take a step back and evaluate your project's performance as a whole first. Once you evaluate your project as a whole, then you can perform audits on its components. And this will allow you to break down your project into manageable chunks and to see what needs improvement before you label it final. Now, impactful learning for adult students is personal, and it's based on what the adult learner has experienced throughout their cognitive processes of learning complex concepts in an accelerated digital learning environment. Student expectations of their involvement, participation, and self-directed learning are key factors to how adult learners apply this course to their advantage. And each student is on a different journey in their rapid project process, which stimulates a wide range of project topics for inspirational and directional knowledge of mechanical design thinking that this course is based on. 
Now, the community of learning provides students with impactful learning experiences by providing students with a tactile learning experience over a digital learning platform. And their final portfolio can be included in your project charter as an artifact. Now, we have concluded the introductory video for the course. Please reach out to me if you have any questions. This presentation was designed in Canva. All the content and audio was created and narrated by me, Michelle Carmichael. Thank you.